The ART Snake Anchor is a multifunctional, continuously adjustable, chokeable anchor sling available in 2.5 and 5 meter lengths. The Snake Anchor is a multi use rope tool for everyday situations, advanced climbing setups, and emergency rescue scenarios. Both a basal anchor and an in tree anchor. It is continuously adjustable with multiple attachment points across the full length of the sling. Each stitch segment is rated to 4 kN braking strength, providing the potential for cumulative energy absorption. It has a wide contact surface which offers excellent abrasion resistance. The snake anchor is strong, versatile and easy to use, both in the tree and from the ground. ART for the art of tree climbing. Once you have your access line installed, attaching it to the snake anchor is extremely quick and easy. As you can see, I put the snake anchor on nice and low, passed the tail through the aluminium eye and choked it up tight against the stem. I'm now putting a carabiner through the first available attachment point. Put that on the splice and this side of the line is ready to climb. When clipping into the snake anchor, it is critical to capture one side of the double strand rope and not attach the carabiner through the stitched section. We'll come back to why I put that low later on, but if you're finding that having it there causes the carabiner to rub against the trunk of the tree, you can put it further up. However, if you do so, it's important to add a clip or a second carabiner just into that lowest attachment hole. Having the clip there prevents the situation if you were to load and unload the access line where the snake anchor, snake anchor can loosen and walk a bit up the trunk. So clip into the first available attachment point and that side of the line is ready to climb. If you want to climb on the other side of the access line. Just pull a bit of slack through that. It's very easy to tie an inline knot. That's an alpine butterfly. Attach that in to the first available attachment point, and then the other side of the line is good to climb. Very nice and simple. I'm using the 2.5 meter snake anchor there. The 5 meter snake anchor would give us a, lot, a much longer tail coming through the device. Another, another option is to set up the system to enable an engine climber to be lowered from the, to the ground. I'm using the longer snake anchor there, the 5 meter version. Pass that around the base of the tree. Pass the tail through the eye. Choke it up nice and tight. And this time, I'll put a clip in there. Now, I'm going to add a belay device to the running part of the line. That's the pencil rig. Lots of similar devices. Put that there where it's nice and easy to use. Put that in the lock position and add a stop and up a little way down the line. I've left a little bit of slack there because the rig does have some energy absorbing capacity and that side of the line is now good to climb. Really simple setup. And if a climber on this access line, whether he's on the way up or he's had an accident, he's set an inline anchor point, um, been attacked by bees, whatever, needs to be lowered to the ground, it's very easy for a vigilant groundy to undo the stopping up and use the rig to lower the climber down. The only proviso is that you need to have enough rope spare here to get the climber to the ground. So you need three times the height of the high point in lengths of rope by the time the guy gets down. That's Another way of doing this, if your rope isn't long enough, is to use a second rope. So here's one I prepared earlier. 
can leave, you can have a rope that's set up permanently on the rig there. Put the stopper nut in. Attach that to the snake anchor. Carabiner those two ropes together. Check that that's in lock position. And we're good to go. This side of the rope is now good to climb. And I know that I've got enough rope there to lower someone down from 75 meters feet. So it's very easy and quick to done. Full static access line. Dynamic element. Dead easy. Well, do not do it. The Snake Anchor uses an innovative and unique multi-stepped stitching system. In addition to allowing users their choice of attachment point, each section of stitching offers 4 kilonewtons of energy absorbing capacity. In the event of a shock load exceeding 4 kilonewtons, one or more of these rated sections may tear, limiting the force experienced by the climber. Always double check your anchor attachment before setting off. trick with the snake anchor is that it can be used to install multiple access lines very quickly and easily. That's one set and that's another. Obviously both of these access lines take advantage of the snake anchor's energy absorbing capacity the multiple attachment points, they're both very quick and easy to install. But there are nicer ways of setting this up. I'm going to install the rig onto one of the two access lines. So that's there, in the lock position. I've got my stopper nut. Pull slack through there. And this line is ready to climb on. But what we're going to do is put a second inline knot, midline knot, of the Alpine butterfly in there, a little bit above the rig. Carabine of the second axis line onto that. And I've now got two axis lines installed in the tree, both of which are ready to be lowered. So if a climber wants to work in two separate parts of the tree, they can start up on this axis line, do some work over there, come halfway down, jump across into that one, reascend into the second head. If at any time the climber needs to be lowered, it's all ready to go. One use for the snake anchor in its choke capacity is as an in-tree anchor. For use, on a pole or a stem where there are no convenient branches to set a cambium saver. So I've got the 2.5 meter snake anchor, I've choked it around the stem, I've carabined it on a pulley, I've got my spider jack set up on the line and that's ready to go, all taking advantage of the energy absorbing capacity of the snake anchor. If I want to, It's easy to install the access line to the same point. That's an access line set up there as well. The only downside of the setup is of course that it's not removable from the ground. So I'd use this uh, generally in large tree removal where I'm going to come back to that point. Another usage is in the event of a pole top rescue. So if we imagine there's an injured climber up there on his spurs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a second rope and put my belay device onto it on the ground. I can put that in the lock position, clip that to my harness, and again I'm going to take my running double rope system with me. Now 
All I need to do is spur up the tree until I reach the engine climber, work my way past the spurs until I've reached the top of the tree. Install my snake anchor. Slip on my second line and attach that to the engine climber. I'm also going to attach my running double rope system to the top, to the highest attachment point that's available on the snake anchor. That lets me move around as necessary to work on, to remove the spurs, to remove the split lines, to take care of the climber. It makes me very comfortable up at the top of the tree. The snake anchor is rated to have two people on at the same time. So very quickly and very easily, without any messing around, I can be ready to start lowering the engine climber down. So I now know he's safe and secure. I can start removing his spurs if necessary, removing his flip line, getting him ready to go down. The snake anchor can also be used in an open configuration. The most common usage for this setup is as a cambium saver. I just pass my rope through the ring and then through the carabiner and I can set off to climb the tree as normal. When it comes time to retrieve, a simple overhand knot in the rope will pass the carabiner and then become stuck on the ring, allowing me to retrieve the snake anchor. The many attachment points of the snake anchor make this device and this setup incredibly adjustable. So I can use it there as a small cambium saver or there as a very large cambium saver. An additional option is to use a third carabiner at a midpoint in the line. to create two separate and independent attachment points. I've set these over some fairly large branches. Nevertheless, if either failed, the remaining attachment point would still be complete. This is also distributing the load between both points and of course, it's easily retrievable. So for me, like all ART products, I find them really simple to use, uh, incredibly innovative, uh, highly functional. You can use it at the base of the tree, within the crown, and it's a great product with a lot of different uses and it just makes my job easy.